how do we go ahead and uh, do the, the, the bridge to these new technologies? It's not just electric cars, but there is some energy storage or batteries involved here. There's a couple hundred million cars on the planet, combustion engines. We can bring in electric cars, but it's going to take a good 20, 40 years to really kind of shift out that fleet. You know, not going to throw it away, it's still working. So what, what the water electrolysis does is using batteries and a water electrolysis unit, you can use the electricity from the batteries to split water and make oxygen and hydrogen. That's a fuel. You can put that into your intake manifold. Instead of putting gasoline and air in, you're putting oxygen and hydrogen from the water. So we basically and do the combustion reaction. So you still have your combustion reaction, you still have your room room car, but we've now kind of just modified it. We can do this with every car. But that's what we're here for, you know, this is this, ten, this concept of 10x. How can we shift the, the equation for energy a factor of 10, you know? Or, you know, is it, is it the lifetime that we need a factor of 10? Is it the capacity that we need a factor of 10? Or is it the, the perceived value? And really, we're just kind of bringing this question to the table now, because people have now have been like developing new technologies. There's kind of like a resurgence and a renaissance in, en in energy. And the energy is different from power. Power is instantaneous, but energy is power for a duration of time. Mm -hmm.